I'm pretty sure that some of you are thinking how complicated Photoshop can be when it comes to editing, but what if I told you that there is a tool that you can use to edit your photos and you can use only that tool to do the entire editing. With just one tool, I will do the brightness adjustment, contrast, shifting colors, adjusting saturation, dodge and burning, and feathering the shadows. All those are made with just one tool. Hello everyone, if you're new here, my name is Soma, Photo Tom here on YouTube, and I'm a full-time landscape and travel photographer. Now let's move into Photoshop, and let me show you how I'm using this tool to edit one of my foggy forest photos. This is the image that I'm going to edit today. The composition is here, we have a lovely trail, a lovely tree. The thing that I'm going to do is to use the adjustment layer called curves to do the entire editing. So this is the tool that we're going to use today. So um, let's just create the first adjustment layer of curves. And the first thing that I'm going to do is to take care of brightness and contrast and do a little bit of dodge and burning. So the first adjustment layer will take care of the brightness of the entire scene. So let's just grab the midpoints the mid-tones and just take them up a little bit. And now the image is a lot brighter, but we're not going to leave it like this. Let's create another adjustment curves and take the mid-tones and take them down. Now, while I'm taking these down, I'm looking at this area over here. I, want, I don't want to go something, for example, like this, where I think it's too much. So let's just Let's just go somewhere around here, maybe. Okay, now I want to bring back some of this brightness in the area of the tree. So I have to paint inside the mask of this curve, uh, this curves. Uh, I can do this with the brush, but just to keep it simple for this uh, tutorial, I would use the gradient map. And I will have a, a gradient that starts to black and ends to white, and it's set to radial. So I'm just clicking and dragging something like this. I don't want to overdo it, I just want to have a little bit of brightness in this area and a little bit of darkness in this area. So it's just a slight adjustment, and this is the way you, I think you need to go in editing. With small steps. Now let's add another curves and let's take care of the contrast. Click one point to have one point over here to have the highlights um, in place and then another point somewhere around here and drag it down. And now we're taking the darker parts, parts of the image and we take them down. So now we are creating a curve that is altering the contrast of the entire image. Okay, now the leaves are a little bit dark and I want them also a little more saturated. So we need a selection to have only those leaves. Let's click on the background layer, Control plus to go closer to these leaves, select color range, and you have to be here on sampled colors and click on this color picker and just click on one leaf and then with the plus let's simply let's just simply add the rest of the color tones that are here and hit ok now we have all these leaves selected control zero to see the entire image there are other elements selected but i will remove them very easy now let's click on the top curves because I want to create another adjustment layer of curves but I want it to be on top of it uh, of this last one so let's just create another one curves alt hold on alt and click on the mask and now you can see the mask with the brush tool hit B and uh, let's paint with black opacity 100% let's paint black on these areas this means I don't want to have uh, my adjustment layer affecting these areas also. So that is why I just want to have black. So my layer of curves will only affect the leaves. Let's click on here 
on uh, on it and let's change the blending mode to luminosity now let's 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 go extreme to see exactly what is happening so something like this is going to happen but this is the place from where we are starting and just go up somewhere around here i think it's more than enough now what i want to do is to have this tree a little bit more saturated the thing is that you can't do uh, a really good saturation with the curves but you can do a really good desaturation it's strange but this is this is uh, the thing that i've noticed so what i need to do is to create another curves and i will now copy the mask from this one to this one hold on alt click and drag and drop it here then alt click to see it and I want to invert the mask, Control i because I want the effect of this curve to be on, uh, on the rest of the forest. I want to desaturate the rest of the forest. So I use a blending mode of saturation and I will just bring, bring the, the curves down. As you can see, if I'm going to the extreme, you still see a little bit of green over here. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do is not go to the extreme, but I'm going to also lower this. So I'm not going to drag it like this. You can go like this, you can go like this. You have multiple, uh, multiple options. You can, you just drag the curves and you see exactly what is happening. Now, I don't want to go to the extreme. Let me just see how much I want to remove from the color somewhere around here. And now let's adjust the contrast a little bit more. Create another curves and bring the brighter areas a little bit more up and the darker areas down. Now I still don't like the greenish tint from the background. I want to have it more blue. So click on the background layer, select color range, sample colors and color pick a point over here. Now let's include, take a look at the areas that are not included somewhere around here, for example, these areas over here, the tree is not in that area. Let's see if we okay something like this click ok and now let's create a, another curves and let's go into the blue channel and let's increase the blue feeling i will go to the extreme just for you to see it it's more towards magenta it's going more towards magenta but to fix this i'm going to introduce a little bit more cyan so i'm going to Go into the red channel and drag that a little, a little bit down, not too much. Somewhere around here, I think it's it's more than okay. Now the image has a little bit too much contrast, but this contrast shows me that the the highlights are okay. The darker areas are not that okay. So what I will do is add another curves and click on. The highlights, click on the midtones, click on the shadows. I have these points over here, so now I have them uh, pinpointed on the curve, and I'm gonna grab this dark, this point that corresponds to the really dark areas and bring it up, but not too much because you see you lose a lot of detail over here. So just a little bit, and then the shadows a little bit. And now I think the image is really pleasing. Let, let's take a look at the original image. Hold down Alt and click on this icon over here. So this is the original photo that we started with. Alt click again. And this is the final result. And it, it, it was all made with curves. Now I really hope you found this tutorial useful. Right now I'm pretty sure you know 
how powerful the curve uh, the curves tool really is and how much you can do with it leave a comment if you want similar videos subscribe if you are not already subscribed thanks for watching bye bye